Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I certainly do appreciate it. Today's beer guys, we're going with the Electric Brewing Company. Uh, this is Mighty Soldier of the Revolution. And this was sent to me by Joe out in San Diego. Thanks a bunch, Joe. I do appreciate it. I'd never heard of Electric Brewing before. I don't, like, like I said on yesterday's review, I don't know how big they are, how long they've been in business. I probably could research that, and maybe I should have, but if you're interested and you're in the San Diego area, where well, you can probably pick up their beer, you may be so uh, inclined to do so. So uh, feel free to, to check out their website if they have one. I didn't. I don't usually do that kind of stuff, guys. I don't. I don't give you a, a super detailed involved. I'm just telling you this is what's in front of me and we're going to judge it on the fly. That's how I do my beer reviews, guys. And uh, the only reason I bring Beer Advocate and I'm tapped into it is to give a reference. So, with that being said, if you want to visit Electric Brewing, whether in person or uh, online, help yourself. Anyway, thanks to Joe for sending it to me. Uh, this is a double dry hop triple IPA and they can call it that once uh, you get to a certain uh, ABV. It's nine and a half percent so this is a big boy beer brewed with Citra and Moter hops. Uh, no IBUs are given uh, and this one was put in the can on 8 17 22 11 days ago and just come all the way across the country to me so you can add a week to that so Pretty fresh beer when Joe got his hands on it. And it's still a damn fresh beer when this guy got his hands on it. So I wanted to view them. Uh, they just come yesterday and review, reviewing them one at a time from there. So, pictures look really good here. Uh, and the light often affects these pictures when I look at them independent. It looks lighter in the, the glass and the pictures I'm seeing here. But again, probably irrelevant. We got the date, we got the ABV. Let's get it in the glass, yes. All right, very nice looking. Yeah, it is a light, a little lighter. I'm like a half and half orange juice, half and half grapefruit juice. A little swirly swirl to add to that action. Awesome, nice cascading effect there. A little under two fingers of head. And guys, that, that looks absolutely fantastic. That is heavy duty milky. Uh, but it's just a slight lighter color than a bright orange color. Maybe a little grapefruit juice, like I said, mixed in there. But looks damn awesome to me. To the nose we go. Oh yeah. Citrusy, oranges, tangerines, maybe a hint of some peaches. And I did not look up Moter hops and what characteristics they bring to a beer. It smells very typical of, uh, of a Northwest uh, hop variety, but I'm not sure. Like I said, I did not research it. Smells very citrusy, guys. So, smells awesome. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Joe. Thank you, sir. Nine and a half percent. Yeah. Cheers. Wow. Nice. Very, very nice. 
that is very very smooth for nine and a half percent that is a very very well made beer I'm impressed with all right we got two back to back and of course they're in the New England style which is my favorite on top of that so probably wasn't hard to bend my arm around to, to like a New England style beer if it actually fits that style and the first two most definitely have an appearance aroma and taste so that can pour going in don't think I'm in mean, 11 days old how could anything settle in it <laughs> it's been in transportation the whole time except for the last 24 uh oh I messed up that might yep got just a slight drip right there just hair too much too fast too much agitation too much agitation It's all in there now, though. So, guys, I'm I'm impressed right now. Uh, yesterday's beer was very, very tasty. This one is uh, a notch or so tastier. Plus, it's a nine and a half percent, where yesterday's was a little lower ABV. So, uh, and I think the the third one he sent me is a monster beer. I think it's it's a stout too. I think. Uh, yeah, barrel aged imperial stout. So uh, it's going to be a big beer for tomorrow's beer review. So uh, got an eight, we got a nine and a half, and we got a twelve. So they're brewing beers right up my alley, most definitely. Instead of a five or four and a half to a six, hey, I'm not too much interested in those beers anymore, guys. When I I don't session beers and and I only have a couple of days. So with that being said. Let's go sip on it. Alright guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on it for a while now. A little bit of lacing left on the top of glass where I poured the head on it. Uh, not a whole lot left on that, but this is super tasty. Alcohol is well hidden. Nice citrusy notes. A little bit of grapefruit, oranges, tangerines. Nine and a half percent. Get you in the hammer lane fast. Well done. Super tasty. Final show. A lot more body on a nine and a half percent as opposed to an eight percent like we had yesterday. I, I can tell that. I can taste that. I can feel that differences in the body, and even and that, and it, and, it, and it goes to seven percent, six percent, five percent. I can a lot of times I can taste what the ABB is according to the body and mouthfeel that I'm getting. I can taste them. Blind taste this. 5%, 5.5%, 7%. A lot of times the body, the mouthfeel will tell my palate what the ABV is. So, uh, I mean, and that's very tasty. And that is super tasty, guys. Uh, man, uh, I mean, this, if you say this beer is a 10, I would not argue with that. I'm going to give it a 98. I mean, it is pretty impressive for a 9.5% with the alcohol, that hidden, the appearance, the aroma, the taste. Yes, it's a winner. It's, I, would, I would spend my money on this beer, guys. I absolutely would. No doubt about it. So, uh, 98 for me, guys. Uh, you know, like I said, I could just easily give it a 100, but... Not, qu not quite there, but that's just my opinion, and that's all it is. My opinion. You try it, you may say, oh my God, you're crazy. If I'd have had this beer 10 years ago, it, it may have been too boozy for me. If I'd had this beer 5 years ago, it would probably got a 10. Especially if it was one of the first New England style beers uh, in the 9.5 percenter that I'd had. So, it's worthy. It's worthy. So if you've had uh, uh, Mighty Soldier of the Revolution from Electric Brewing Company, and again, guys, only 24 people have commented on this beer, so it's a pretty new release from these guys. And again, I don't know what their footprint is or distribution is, so if you can get your hands on it, especially you guys in San Diego, 
go pick it up, support these guys. I mean, the, the, the two that I've had have both been winners, and I got one more. So, tune in tomorrow. We're going to find out what it's all about. Until then, let's go see what's in the fridge.